shit. Hi, I'm Lisa. How you do? Uh, this is WTF Lisa Tarot. I get messages through songs and other ways. Frequency and energy. It's a real trip, man. So I have one earbud in, one earbud out. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and follow. <laughs> Drop a tip. Cash at WTF Lisa Tarot. That would be a good guess. I like that. Um, you can shop WTF Lisa eBay. It's random. I, that would kick ass. I would really like that. Uh, or if you want a reading, I do recorded video to our readings, or I do a yes or no pool. Those are at WTF Lisa Etsy, and the links are in the description. Uh, I'm already tired from all that talking. Yappity yap all fucking day. Here we go. I have a Leo back, back, forth, and forth. Aaliyah, back and forth. I have loved this song since I was a teenager when it came out because I am an old bitch. That's okay. As a freshman, I was either in eighth grade or ninth grade when it came out, or in between. No. Is that important? No, but me getting this song, which is like a flashback as fuck, means something from the past is coming back up. Here we go. Hey, hands in the air. Sorry. Who is the A L A H? I started it over. I like spelling her name. Who is L I Y A H? Oh, she says move. It's the L I Y H. I always said it like who is the. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. Pick up my girls and do my classing. Uh, well, it's actually Saturday. So not only is something from the past coming up, but it's been long enough, a little late. Hi, Refont. Page of Wands. Or someone could have been waiting their whole life for something. Waiting, uh, something was due to something to someone a long time ago. There's a lot of different vibes here, but for some reason, 30 years ago is important. If I remember correctly, this song came out about 94. And it's 2024. Let's find out. I can, like, Google. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Sorry, guys. Watching me Google is boring, but, uh, I kind of want to know this. When did that end? Oh, that's 1994. Uh, yeah, so something 30 years in the making? Or something from 30 years ago. What the fuck is this vibe? Maybe someone is just 30. They're turning 30. There is... Their address is 33s, 303s, 333s, like 33333. Three, 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 three. That's weird. <laughs> Let's find out what this is. Give me some clues. I got the Hierophant with the Page of Wands, Tower, King of Wands, a karmic masculine, a uh, karmic couple. That's this vibe here. Got in the way of Divine Femme. And uh, for whatever reason, you know, the ops send the dipshits in. To fuck with your bullshit. With this uh, Empress, Ten of Coins. Something was due to you, Six of Cups, a long time ago. But some people came in and fucked up. Page of Coins, Ace of Coins, Nine of Coins. They took a lot of it. Hey, but well, Fortune, you gotta pay that back. There's interest due, bitch. Is it payback time? I think it's payback time. Is it payback time? Let's find out. <gasps> you know, it's fun. Okay, I'm gonna pull. I have this deck. It's a learning deck, but I like it. <clears throat> when I record a yes or no pool because it actually says it on the card and then that way if I'm recording you can actually see the fucking card so see here's why it says it I like that because it's a good visual for you guys uh so I'm gonna I already forgot what I asked is it payback time <laughs> I got so excited bear with me I'm very tired I've worked so much in the last what day is it four days Yeah, I've been doing like a, a week and a half of work in a short time, so I'm really tired. Oh, snap! So uh, I pulled the Wheel of Fortune from the movie tarot, and then I asked, like, is it payback time? Because when I pulled this, I was like, yeah, it's payback time. Well, I also pulled the Wheel of Fortune from this deck. Uh, uh, and the answer is yes! I'm going to put this deck back because I don't plan on using it for the full thing, but uh, that was cool. That was some cool confirmation. You saw me shuffle. I pulled the Will of Fortune, then I pulled the Will of Fortune. It is payback time. I would like to pull signs, but <clears throat> honestly, it's a collective vibe. 
This has been happening because they do things in groups. It's the weirdest shit, but it is what it is. But it is payback time. Back and forth. Oh, I have some dinosaurs. Oh, my God. I have a song called Swallowed by Bush. Another 90s song, but I think this was from 98. So I could be dealing with people who are in their 40s. 30s and 40s is the vibe I get. Oh, I, I usually pull some tea, but I grabbed in the shadows. Uh, so I'm going to pull some in the shadows first. Swallowed. Swallowed. I haven't heard this song in forever. Heavy about everything but my love. Heavy about everything but my love. Uh, swallowed, sorrowed. I'm with everyone and yet not. I'm with everyone and yet not. Ah, I am not coming back. It's uh, payback time and uh, some shit is over. The ways the payback is coming will be interesting and that will unfold differently. I give a few examples, but I won't cover everything. That would take too long. Just want to be myself. That's what Bush said. Hey, said you would love to try some. Hey, said you would love to die some. Oh, he said you would love to die some. I don't recommend that. Coming back sucks. Uh, I don't know about other living dead girls and boys, but if you die for a minute and then you come back or however long, it feels fucking weird after. It feels weird to be here after. And if it happens more than once, it feels even fucking weirder every time. Uh, I There's a show called Buffy the Vampire Slayer, again, started in the late 90s. Uh, and there's a monologue. It's called the Heaven Monologue that she does after she comes back from the dead. And I feel it so much. Every once in a while, I listen to it. I know this does sound crazy, yeah, but, you know, die before. It's like, I get it. I know what she's saying. It's the only time I, only thing I relate to. For, so for some of us, that's what it is. Uh, I mean, things have been so bad, you've literally died a time or two over this bullshit. And it's nice to have that completion. I don't want to do it again is what I'm hearing in my head. And that could also be myself speaking. I hear it as a collective, voices in unison. I don't want to do that again. I hope I will see you again sometime. That's the ops. I pretend like I don't care. But I already pulled. I am not coming back. So no matter how they try to pull you back in, the answer is no and will always be no. I do not want to do that again and not with you. Piss on self-esteem, he says. Forward busted knee. They also vibe I get because I, I, got, I saw the ten of coins is... You know your worth. You're worth more than this bullshit. That's the other vibe I got. Yes, payback is coming and it's a bitch and you are worth more than this shit. Swallowed, followed. Let's get some tea and close out this reading. My warrior ladies out there, I am with you. Let's do a collective fist bump. bump. Let's pull some tea. I don't have any crumpets with this tea. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I got a mean bitch and hater. Some of them are accusing you of this now, but there's a difference between being correct and just being a dick. Uh, other cases, too. These, these people were this on steroids with you. So, it's what they're getting. Some of them played with witchcraft. They didn't do their own shadow work, so it's backfired and been weird. Some of them, with this admiration, did love spells. They tried to lie to convince you they're your soulmate when they're not. Some of you is a karmic soulmate. Some of you is a karmic twin. Some of you it's someone pretending to be your twin flame. For me, I have this issue where these idiots that are not my twin flame love to come in and pretend like they are, but they are not. It's annoying as hell. And most of them tend to be cancer males that I am not attracted to at all. Uh, one got me good shortly with a... Or, one got me with a love spell, and that sucked when that broke, but I was happy it broke. And then one, it kind of worked as far as we only talked online. Other than that, I didn't like him at all. And I would tell him, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. I don't like you. And then after that, I could feel a few when they come on, and it's just DOA. 
as a trip. I didn't know at first until it happened. And I didn't know I was intuitive because apparently I was told they kept doing shit to my memory. But people would tell me all the time, like, I can't do it <clears throat> every time I watch Jeopardy. I have to get into a weird zone where I'm not paying attention. I don't know how to explain it. And I can answer a majority of the fucking questions. For some reason, it's like, you know how they, you answer with the question. but So they'll ask it, but I can just see, like, the words, uh, the letters and the words of the question they show on the screen change around and tell me the answer real quick. So I could guess a lot, and but I could only do it if I wasn't trying to. That doesn't make sense at all. If I try to, it's not the same. Radio station, Angel Radio. I have a radio for Europe by REM. I didn't know Angel Radio was a thing from the TV show Supernatural because, like, it's a thing. That's how I hear for through frequency. And so I've never seen that show still. I saw a couple clips, like, shorts. Because of the angel radio thing. I was like, what the fuck is that? It came up on my screen. I'm like, how do you know about this? Uh, but then it was like on a fucking major TV show. And I'm like, oh, okay. I still haven't watched. I just don't like TV that much. I'll turn on the Kardashians because I fall asleep like that. So if I need to catch a nap, it's awesome. Uh, sometimes too, like if I'm procrastinating about doing something in another room, this makes no sense, but it works. Uh, I'll turn on the Kardashians and then I'll leave. <laughs> Wait, I hate this show. I'm going to leave there instead of turning it off. And then I go actually do what I need to do. It's like a weird trick I do with myself. Radio free, you're up, radio. It's like they repel it, so I fall asleep, which is great. Like, I hate giving them the views. However, they're doing me a favor when I need a nap. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Some of you have just learned to navigate to around certain things, or you found a way to use annoying. Like, I get the idea of no weapon formed against me shall prosper, but in that same way, you can change weapons around to make them useful. Like, the Kardashians is made to brainwash people and make them dumber and stupid. Okay, since that's the case, I'm going to take a nap. You want to be stupid? Great, put me to sleep, bitch. Thank you, I needed the rest. Because if I was watching something smart, I would stay awake thinking about it. So it's using things that should be a negative to your advantage. <laughs> Resourcefulness. Oh, and it's something they can't do. That's why you get a lot of copycats, too. Radio Free Europe. But they're, they don't have the right intuition. Uh, some of you, you just don't give a fuck anymore, either. It'll be amusing when you hear the end, the final result. Why? Because you already called it. You already knew. You've already said it. You've spoken it. You've probably told them. They didn't listen. It's not satisfying as in you're happy. Bad things happen. It's the idea of it's finally fucking done. The end of Kill Bill comes to mind. Relief and regret. The mixture. But it'll be mostly relief. The weight of the world is heavy. I mean, you can't bear these burdens that are not even meant for you. They were never meant for you in the first place, or were they? It depends. But out intrinsic. Oh, some of you have found out you have spiritual gifts, and there's different forms. They're all great. You know, for me, I'm tapped into the angel radio thing. It's frequency that I get in energy. Occasionally, I can read people's minds, but I don't mean to. It's usually quick things. It freaks them out. It's really fun. Uh... Some of you had to defeat energy vampires, hiding tears, and they're defeated ass clowns. And they're they're a little mad, but what else are they going to do? Yosemite Sam vibes. There's nothing they can do. They're codependent on you, but you're not a source anymore. Intuitive. Oh, she's sweet, but a psycho. A little bit psycho. At night she's screaming, I'm a mama out my mind. Some of you, that same vibe of uh, turning unusual things into weapons is you act a little bit crazy and a little bit meaner than you really are because it keeps them away it's a great weapon i used to um <laughs> for a brief time i lived in a very sketchy neighborhood where a lot of meth was around and i had to stay there just for a few months uh and the night i got there with my stuff i was moving in with my childhood best friend and her uh, fiance at the time their car had been broken into someone smashed the window and stole shit out of their car and this had been a common thing. Since these meth heads had taken over the neighborhood, they would just come onto their property, steal shit. They 
vandalized and not just their house everywhere everywhere uh so i just started pretending like i was mentally handicapped i already wore an r2d2 beanie like all the time so people already like what's going on uh and then it would just and i would just do weird things that my roommate hated but she didn't understand like i kept trying to explain why it's great right so i would pretend to be an airplane when i would check the mail and be like and i'd go outside and just dance weird you know I would just sometimes just do weird shit without speaking to anybody just when i knew they were watching right because who's gonna mess with a mentally handicapped girl some still will but for the most part, most people will be like, oh, I don't know about that, you know? Or they're just scared. And then lucky for me, a lot of them were scared. So my friend would get annoyed by it until I was trying to explain to her one day, do you notice less of them are knocking on your door in the middle of the night? Do you notice less of them are coming around, that they're actually like going around the property to avoid me? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, do you understand why this is a good thing? They aren't breaking into your car anymore. They aren't stealing. They aren't bothering you. And she's like, oh, she was so worried of what these meth heads would think. And it's like, honey, <laughs> we want them to stop breaking your windows. We want them to stay away. This is keeping them away. And it's free. Do you not see the beauty in this? Just like me, you're out of your mind. If they want to get crazy, let's play that game. I'll get crazy too. But the problem is, you know. Yeah. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. At night she's screaming, I'm a mama, I'm a mama. You know, I just know how to play chess, baby. And so do a lot of you divine fans. They can call you crazy. They can call you whatever names they want. But uh, uh baby, that ain't true. How do you know it? Oh, Ace of Wands. You've learned a lot of lessons, but you know what? You've been here to teach them, too. You are a badass bitch. Seven of Coins, making resourceful, making do with what you can. And now payback is coming. Some of you, are, hopefully it's in the form, you know, in all forms that you get blessed. But a lot of you, your spiritual gifts will be more enhanced. Or you'll get some new ones. How about them apples? Uh, and some of you will get some financial things coming too. Different kinds of blessings in different ways. It depends on the person. I have Wait by Maroon 5. And you've had to wait. That 30 years vibe I started off with. That's not great. Dirty looks from your mother. Not invited, but I'm glad I made it. Let me apologize. Make up, make up, make up, make up for all those times. And so once you're coming into that, that's when the karmics come back with their hand. Remember me? Yeah, I do, bitch. Five of Wands. And you can't come in, you can't come with me. And in some cases, you don't even have to do anything. The second they think of you, the divine steps in and kicks their ass. Karma's been waiting. Payback is a bitch. 